It didn't take me very long working in drugs investigation to realise that the war on drugs just couldn't be won. Because it doesn't take very much time investigating drugs to realise that the, the, the flow of drugs is never even interrupted. And since drugs were banned, they've got cheaper, they've got stronger and they've got more varied. And there is no interruption to it, to it at all. You know, I, I, I put people in, in prison for over a thousand years and in any city I only interrupted the flow of drugs for about two hours. Yeah, and there is no policing, no policing at all has any benefit at all on the, on the flow of drugs. I can say that with complete certainty. From, from my years working undercover and being privy to uh, both national and international intelligence on the topic, you know, the National Crime Agency will wheel out a bale, hail, hay bay size of cocaine and they'll say, look, what a great job we've done. And everyone looks at the, all the cocaine and says, oh, wonderful, the streets must be safe. What's your reaction to that when you see that photograph? Well, it's always less than 1% of the amount that's actually on the streets. Because I'm, I'm always sceptical of epiphany moments or moments of... But, so was it a slow, steady uh, grind of, you know what, this is having no effect, and then you start to see the social ills uh, or, or the social collateral damage that you're causing? Well, I was actually fairly slow on the uptake, to Why? be honest, because, as I said, I could see the futility. So I was always wanting to catch the bad guys, but each one, they always managed to outdo in viciousness the previous ones but it took a long time for the penny to drop for me i knew it was futile i knew we weren't interrupting the flow but i was always wanted to catch these nasty people and put them in prison but for me it suddenly dawned on me that the reason these gangsters these organized crime groups were getting more and more violent with every passing year was actually down to me or not just me, not specifically me. But the actions you were taking. But the actions I was taking. And I had to take a great deal of the responsibility because I was involved in the development of the tactics, the training of other, other undercover officers, the length and breadth of the country. And that the harder you try, the more you develop your expertise in police tactics, the more the pushback is violence to control the populace, to stop people grassing people up and to make it more difficult for undercover police.